have my merch favorites to share with you guys. And side note, if you are wondering where the world's largest pimple is, it's on my face. I hate you so much. Alright, so, so this is actually the second time that I'm filming this video. I filmed it a few days ago when I went to edit it. There was like a large chunk of the footage missing. I would like to blame that on my kids or my husband, but it was probably me. So, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to get started with some skincare. I have one item here that I have really, really been enjoying. Um, and you guys have probably heard about it because it has gotten a lot of buzz here on YouTube. This is the B Nigma All-in-One Face Cream for naturally soft, smooth, beautiful skin. Um, this has bee venom, manuka honey, and shea butter in it. Full disclaimer, this product was sent to me for review. I always let you guys know that up front. So because this has manuka honey and shea butter in it, of course it is very moisturizing. And for someone who has dry skin, I do find this to be a nice moisturizer in the daytime. However, the bee venom is really what I love about this product because it has a plumping factor. People um, have referred to this as Botox in a jar. So I put this, like I said, all over my face in the morning. You don't even need a lot. And within a few minutes, you can feel your skin kind of tightening. It is not an uncomfortable feeling. It's not painful. It doesn't sting, anything like that. But you can feel it just kind of firming up. I have been using this for the past month, maybe even five weeks. It's been a while. I asked my husband, I'm always like self-conscious of, I have some fine lines on my forehead and I'm always like, let's just cover those up. Um, and my husband's like, you don't have, you don't have any wrinkles, you're fine. I'm like, mm, thanks. After I was using this, I was like, I think this is working. He's like, yeah, your wrinkles are gone. I was like, I think I have wrinkles. I knew it. But honestly, I have noticed a difference in the fine lines and wrinkles, particularly in my forehead. That's where I tend to concentrate this stuff because that is where I have the most issues. And it's pretty awesome. I mean, they're still there, but they're just not as noticeable. I use it every morning. I was doing a little research. Some people use it twice a day. Some people say they use it three times a week and they are still seeing results. So I am a huge fan of this. I will definitely be repurchasing it. Heads up, if you have a bee allergy, do not put this on your skin. You will have a reaction because there is bee venom in it. But um, if you don't, then <laughs> this is really awesome stuff. I do have a 25% off coupon code that I will link below if you want to get a 25% off discount on this, which is a really good deal. I really love this and I will definitely be repurchasing it and it has just become a staple in my skincare. Okay, let's start with some eyeshadows. Um, I feel like I should preface this by saying like, don't shoot. I'm going to show you this because I honestly have been loving it and it is supposed to be back in stock this month. It is the Morphe Jaclyn, oh it's dirty, huh, sorry. The Jaclyn Hill Favorites Morphe palette and it's what I have on my eyes today. I have been wearing it quite a bit this month. Here it is. This is just a stunning palette. This just has a beautiful assortment of like neutrals with some really beautiful pops of color. I love the purples. I really love this one right here. And can you see that? Like these pack a punch. They blend effortlessly and I'm really impressed with the staying power of these shadows. Like my eyeshadows really look fresh even at the end of the day when I wear these Morphe shadows. Um, I pretty. I love these and she's got some really beautiful neutral colors in here too which is kind of what I've got going on in my eyes today. Um, oh my gosh this brown is a beautiful crease color. <sighs> so I know there was a big sort of rigmarole when this was released because it sold out very quickly and it was so popular that the website did crash. However um, someone had recommended signing out of Google Chrome and trying Firefox. I did that and when I did it worked. So I don't know if there's something to that. Just thought I'd share it because it did work for me that day anyway. It is supposed to re-release this month. I know Morphe has just revamped their entire website. And the other thing is if you don't happen to get your hands on this particular palette, Morphe does have a lot of other really beautiful palettes and their individual shadows are only two bucks a piece. And I telling you guys, like, I mean, I just don't, I just don't know how you can go wrong with these. They are so pretty, so, so pretty, so pigmented. I mean, for two bucks a piece. I, I just, I love this palette and I just love the shadows themselves. So had to talk about that. Okay, so a couple of cheek products, a blush that I showed in my new at the drugstore haul. This is the Hard Candy New Baked Ombre, ombre Blush in the color Punch. I love this. I'm not wearing it today. I'm actually wearing Milani's Luminoso, but I have been wearing this for the majority of the month and it is just a beautiful, um, 
pink. It's a very soft baby pink, but this creates quite a highlight to the skin. So um, if you're not into like very highlighty, glowy sort of blushes, you probably won't like this, but if you love that sort of thing like I do, oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. Um, you know, you can kind of stick to the darker side if you want more of like the deep pink. That didn't work very well. I've got so many swatches on my fingers now. And you can go over here and use this just as a highlight. I have been doing that as well. This is so, so pretty. You can get it at Walmart. It's right around, I think, $7 or something like that. If you can find this, definitely, definitely worth the splurge. Okay, okay, for bronzer, I am pretty sure I have talked about this in a previous favorites, but I keep going back to it, and I it's it's the one that I've been wearing the most this month, so I had to mention it. It's from the Body Shop, and it is their matte bronzer, and I am in the shade Light. This is a beautiful bronzer if you are light like myself and have a hard time finding colors that don't look muddy or orange. This is so perfect. Um, I did use a bit of my Chanel Tan de Soleil on my, on my skin first, and then I went over it with this and I bronzed up like my neck and that sort of thing. This is just so smooth. I don't have a clean finger. This is so smooth and it's just like the perfect touch of bronze. It's not, like I said, it's not orange or muddy. Um, and if you have darker skin than me, they do have a variety of shades available. So I would recommend checking it out no matter what your skin tone because the formula is beautiful. I love that it's a matte and it just looks really natural. So this has been just holy grail. A mascara, this was also something I talked about in my new at the drugstore haul this month. This is the Rimmel and um, Kate Moss collaboration mascara. What I love about it is that it has the broken heart wand, which for me, it just works so well. It really grasps, like really hugs each of your lashes and just swoops them up, coats them. Um, I don't find this clumpy, it doesn't flake, and it really does give me some nice length. A little bit of volume, more length for me, but um, this has been a total win. I would definitely repurchase it. I was telling my sister to go buy it last night because she's always on the hunt for great mascara too, so that's a good one. Makeup product I have is a lipstick. Um, this is from the Maybelline Rebel Bloom collection that just released, and this is in the shade 700 Barely Bloomed. I'm wearing Too Faced Melted Pink Peony today. It just felt like a pop of color. But this is, I've actually used quite a bit of this already. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it has gone down a bit. This is just a stunning peachy pink nude. Very subtle, just, oh, so, so pretty. This might be my favorite drugstore nude. I love it so, so much. Um, and it's nice and creamy. It's, you know, not drying for the lips and it doesn't bleed or feather. Really, really like it. I love that it comes in this little pink package. I think that is just phenomenal. Why is my camera dying? You know what? I charged, oh, for God's sake. I just realized I charged my battery and I didn't plug the stupid charger into the wall. I also have a YouTuber that I wanted to mention, of course, this month, and her name is Tyranny Elizabeth, and I just think the name Tyranny is so beautiful. I recently found her. I was searching, what was I searching for? Oh, I've been searching for different ways to style Gemma's hair, <laughs> just to keep it out of her face. She's two, and like, if her hair is down, there's like yogurt and like, I don't know, every, every, anything she eats ends up in her hair and it ends up just like messy. Looking for cute little hairstyles and I saw Tierney had posted like a side braid, which was really cute. Um, and that's just kind of how I found her channel. She's a little bit younger than me. She's probably like in her early 20s, I would say. Um, but she's just, oh, there's something just very like enjoyable about her. I just think she has a great outlook on life. She just seems very positive um, and she's funny too. So I hope you guys go check her out. I think she's a little bit newer. Um, I think she's got like 15 videos or something, but I just think, I think there's something really cool about her. So I'll link her below. Um, show her some love. Tell her I said hi because I think, I think she's really cool. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, I would totally appreciate if you did. Take care of each other and I'll see you soon.